Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Ocean Block. If you guys are enjoying these videos and you haven't already, make sure you head down below and hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, in the last episode, we got this seared heater, this, you know, like mini smeltery set up and everything. And like it's gotten us some stuff, but I think... I am going to end up going with these uh, tempered jars and stuff just because this is taking a bit too long, especially with the sand and stuff. And I haven't done the other mod yet, so I want to jump into that one. But um, I've done a little bit of grinding in between episodes to get ready because what I want to do is I want to take these two sleuths that I have down here and I want to make some iron ones just because we can automate the iron ones and we will need the oak ones but we need two iron and then we need a chain which is just another iron ingot and some nuggets for the iron sluice i need two iron that and a chain and a chain is this so i'll need two chains so one two and then one two and one two and then it was this this and this correct correct so i need six pieces of wood as well one two three four five six these are done and toss those up there those there one of them done Get these guys up there. Stone. And that. So we got our two. So how does this work then? Um, Do I have to... I wonder if I have to put them over top the water. And then iron sluice and sluice. And then... Actually, let's look at the uh, let's look at the different meshes as well, because. Is there something? No, no, no. So go here and go mesh. So we do have. The cloth and we have the iron. Um, do I have enough? Yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm going to make iron mesh instead of putting these cloth back in because it will be a bit better so we'll need a couple sticks we'll need some string sticks and then we're gonna go like this and like this and boom so i made four of them what was i thinking well We'll probably end up making more of these eventually anyway, so that'll be good enough for now. I can't believe I just wasted that iron like that. Let's just stick these up here. Those up there. Got a bunch of sand. Got a bunch of gravel. A bunch of cobblestone. So now, let me put these back in here for now. Let me grab... Oh, actually, actually, I am going to, can I get enough for two hoppers out of this? And that's right, I can't do it in there. How many iron pieces do I need for a hopper again? One, two, three, four, five. Do I wanna? I really do, because I wanna automate this. Got three left. Oh, if I wouldn't have done that with that iron mesh. Ah, it's all right, it's all right. Let's, let's, uh, I'm gonna get these all smelted up and then get the iron made and everything and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. We have the two hoppers. I have two chests. I moved things around a little bit right here. 
but I'm gonna get this set up here and then I might have to move this chest over some but after that we should have some at least semi-automation to where we could just toss some gravel and everything in and you know be done with it that'll be good enough for that let me get some more in here all right let let's see here so hmm it says you can automate this one right once again we recommend checking the Iron sluice. Okay, so but I didn't want to do that again. I hate that whenever you hit shift, it uh wait. It's in the hopper, duh. There we go. So if we were to put all this sand and gravel in here. Okay. So, nice. Let's pick this up, please. Okay. This one and uh, this one, and then we can take it and put it. I mean, we could just put it right there. It don't really matter. Let's put this guy down, and then we're going to do items down. Toss all this stuff in here. And then when we come down here, we'll just have to turn around and keep doing this. Let me get this actually filled up as much as I can with the pressure and stuff like that, because then that is one less thing that we have to worry about. We just have to toss some stuff in here and then we'll be good to go. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, if we want to get into these jars, we have... So, when we went out and grabbed uh, those rafts out there, we did grab some of these. So, it takes care of that. Tampered glass jars are used to mix harden and smell items slash fluid using different levels of heat source uh, below the jar. On the left panel... You see what type, okay, in, in the top center, you can see the current selection. So let, let's start by actually making some jars. So to make these, we need some cast iron. Ooh, we're going to probably need a bit more cast iron. So how exactly do you make this? It looks like we could do something on a campfire with iron. Okay. But to wait a few minutes for that but yeah uh it looks like we're gonna need one two three four five six seven tampered jar or tampered glass and we're gonna need one of these which i'll need one two three four five six and then i need one so i technically have enough um let's do this and then it's one two three four one of these in the middle makes that and then okay we get 12 of these so that's not too bad one and two and bam that takes care of that oh and it gives us eight more so that works so uh, so hey pipe down will you you can use tubes to connect chests and jars to pull resources out of especially useful for fluids okay so it looks like this is how we're gonna get our lava and then we get another an actual iron bucket if we make one of these but um we will do that but let's, let's get this going first i don't know why i did that all right so it, that simple it is that simple might as well get this other one done let's grab a button and then if i remember yep right there it is that will give us an iron bucket so 
what is the jar the jar is a simple tank block that can store up to eight buckets of any given liquid okay okay so is there any kind of like tank in this pack that would be easy to make what we got down here what's this a singularity tank so that is this glass hmm this could be this could be something instead of the jars if this works this is just four things of iron oh let's get our tampered glass here uh and then we need one two three four put one of these up there so i wonder hmm can we set this thing above this campfire? Because if so, here, let me, we're going to be done with this for now. I'll stick it in the chest. We'll still have it in case we ever want to throw it together. But if I'm going to mess with anything from Tinkers, it's just going to be the actual smeltery. Okay. So let's throw these up here that is a singularity tank let's get this stuff in here and i will do a bit of a uh because i'm gonna go with the storage drawers most likely so i will oh my god that scared the hell out of me go to bed go to bed go to bed go to bed that that's not good sleep Oh, get away. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Burn. That scared the bejesus out of me. I completely forgot about these guys. Oh, my God. Let's let's get their little drop there that that absolutely scared the crap out of me i am not gonna lie i actually completely forgot about those guys okay it turned red ouch okay okay so can i just say make a chest say like right here and then oh, I love that tank can I do something like this or iron iron hmm if I okay so yeah so if I click this okay so there's low temperature heat and then there's no temperature is there like a, a oh here we go a high temperature okay so so with no temperature we can make some things so we can make cobblestone which that does remind me i do want to make some lava because i want to get i believe there is a cobble gen in this bag so if i just click play will this how long does this process take 16 seconds okay right, it's better than that smeltery my question is will this just yeah look at that okay so yeah i think um cobble gen yeah yeah so the first tier cobble gen takes four logs 
two cobblestone, one glass, and a water. Okay, so how does one get lava then? Okay. So does that mean I can just take this jar? And perhaps go like this. And then if I grab like, I think that said it could hold like six, but I'll grab five. So if I end up grabbing this, can you, I assume you can't do two at once though. But this could be this could be good for later on because as far as like power goes, I don't know if there's like a uh um let's see uh there is the power mod uh, let's look up do we have like a a mag magmatic uh, magma and then we got a magmator generates 15 fe per tick there's the magmator basic starter basic okay so there is this thing from power i've never done power before but we'd obviously have to start with this but uh dielectric paste which is just blaze uh, or you could do it with coal, clay, or a lava bucket. It gives you 24. Okay. And then this requires a basic capacitor, which is red. So okay, so pow power is going to be a little bit yet, but what about this magmatic dynamo? We need gold, redstone. Okay, let, let, let's, let's keep it going here. Um... Oh, did I start this other one? God. We'll let that we'll let that go. Now this did Can I tell it to do multiple Yeah, there is a bucket of water or lava, my bad. So let's start this one up. Can I Can I like put this on Let me let me look at this. Is there a way to like automate big crate? Char auto oh, oh yeah, auto processing. So we need a bucket of lava, which we did grab over here so that's that um let me put this crate away and stuff let's see what we need for this auto processing iron spikes again now i am keeping all this stuff because there is a um oh what is it a uh recycler in this pack which is odd Okay, so for this, you put the jar above a fire. You can have a process going this way and a process going. Th the jar auto processing block will keep s starting the craft of the selected recipe in the temperature jar until it runs out of available resources. Make it a useful tool for automation. Okay, so this needs more cast iron. So we need cast iron, we need another hopper, we need a piston, which means we need a piece of redstone, and then we need a dropper, which w means we need another piece of redstone. Are we getting redstone with what we're processing here? I don't think so. 
let me let me look this up here redstone so in the sluice it is with a mm. that can't be the only way to get it so what does dust get me in the sluice Redstone chunks. So if I get a diamond mesh, ooh. What do we need for diamond? So diamond mesh in Okay, so it looks like we need at least a gold. So gold mesh will get us at least diamonds. Okay, so. All right, guys, we are back to finish up the rest of this sand here. So I ended up making, um, I ended up making this cobble gen here making us a good bit of cobblestone that way we don't have to worry about tearing up our island um other than that the only thing i did was sluice out some more gravel to get more gold and then i made a second gold mesh and then to get the redstone we're gonna need um gold mesh with dust so i grinded up a whole bunch of dust that way you know we can get a decent amount of stuff um and I don't know if there's a way later on in the pack, which I'm sure there is, that you can um, auto like hammer down the materials. But if there was, that would be great because we could set up a you know pretty decent system and stuff. And I do once we get some more materials going, I do plan on making a whole like setup of like diamond sluice and stuff like that and fully automate it. Um, but until then, you know, we're going to stick with the two. Two of them should be good enough. I mean, I could have probably got away with one, but um, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, I want to start getting some of this stuff. We got some sulfur. So we'll, let's see what some of this stuff can be used for. Um, it be used as fuel. So that. That could be something useful. Block of sulfur. We're making sulfur dust. Yeah, so the sulfur can actually be... I don't know how good it is, but it can actually be used for things... Uh, we got our first uh, redstone chunk. And we got some titanium, some uranium. Hmm. Get some. Looks like we get some gunpowder out of there. We got some niter. What do we got to do with niter here? Um, thermal series. Okay. Uh, we got nickel, lead. Ooh, we got our first diamond chunk too. And we got from Inferium. Now, eventually down the road, my goal is because I, I just absolutely love this mod is to get into mystical agriculture and mystical agriculture, mystical agriculture will also be a way for us to... Um, you know grab some resources that will most likely be our main source but that's that's like later later on down the road but once we get up enough uh redstone and everything we are going to get what is it the uh yeah we're gonna get the uh auto jar processing block put together and then get things set up and then that will be our ingots you know taken care of so i'm gonna keep while that's doing that i'm gonna keep going getting some more iron and stuff and yeah and i do still want to go out and explore because i was looking around earlier 
and I found something that I'm very interested in, which is this guy right here, a sea moth. Now, obviously, this guy is going to be a little bit down the road. We need silver ingots, which are easy enough. Glass, which is obviously easy enough. Titanium blocks. So we need at least 18 titanium block or 18 titanium ingots. We need one lead block. Actually. Hmm. I mean, besides power, that might not be too far off the mark there because some certus core sky stone yeah we got some titanium yeah it's gonna be a bit yet but um i oh i'm definitely definitely excited about that guy right there so with this what do we do with this so four of them make one redstone cluster and then if you take the cluster and put it in okay 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 i get it i get it cool so we'll let that uh we'll let that grind up for a bit and glad we got this uh cobble generator here so uh in between episodes i will be um messing with this some more and um not really messing with it but just going through and making you know a bunch of gravel and different things like that no, I don't want you to do that. And I ended up just planting a little bit of everything just because I don't know. On that note, guys, I am going to end the episode there. Uh, thank you all for watching this episode. And if you do enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button and share it with a friend and, you know, YouTube algorithm and all likes that. And you guys have a great day.